good morning. I look forward each time at this, every week at this same time, just to be able to sit down with you. Actually, I'm standing up now, outside, beautiful day. I'm telling you what, this is the greatest day to be alive. You know, a lot of people talking about how bad things are, how terrible things are in the world. You know, the Word's told us. The Bible has told us for 2,000 years. This is what it's going to be like in the end times. But there's no question we're in the end times. You know, there's wars and rumors of wars. There's, I mean, everything Jesus said that was going to happen is happening. I believe there's no other major prophecy that needs to be fulfilled before Jesus can come back. But you know, I want to talk to you about how to handle those things. How, how do we act in days like today? What do we do? You know, James chapter 3, one of my favorite chapters in the Word of God, um, he tells us in verse number 2 that if we can control our tongues, we can control our entire lives. Now, that's probably one of the most difficult things to do in your Christian walk is learning how to control your tongue because he goes on to say in James chapter 3 that the tongue, even though every kind of animal and every kind of beast can be tamed, no man can tame the tongue. Now, first he tells us, be careful what you say in verses 2 and 3. And then he goes on and says, oh, and by the way, nobody can tame the tongue. Now, what's he talking about? He's letting us know that you can't just decide today, I'm going to change the way I talk. See, your tongue is connected directly to your thoughts. And so you've got to change the way you think to change the way you talk. But you've got to change the way you talk to change the way that you think. So those two are so closely connected. Beloved, you've got to get to the place. He says in James chapter 3 that if I can control my tongue, I can control my whole life. And then he gives us two examples. He said we, we put bits in the horse's mouth and they'll, they'll obey us. They'll go whichever way we tell them to go. And like the rudder of a ship, the two areas that he showed, a horse and a ship. You may say, well, Pastor, what, 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 how could that be significant? You know, if you're riding a horse and you just his head, and immediately where you're going to be going in a different direction. But now a ship, if a ship is going in a certain direction and the, and the captain decides, I will take a while before the direction of that ship changes. And I believe the Holy Spirit was very specific in letting us know when you change the way you speak, there's going to be some things that change immediately because they're smaller things. But things that you've been speaking, things that you've been saying for years of your life, they're going to take longer to turn around. The key is don't stop. The key is don't quit. Don't back off saying what you know that you're supposed to be saying. And you may say, well, Pastor, how do I know what I'm supposed to be saying? How do I know what I should be letting come out of my mouth? Well, so, so I, I tell people this all the time. Make a list of the areas of your life that you want to see whatever you use and say, okay, here's a part of my life I want to see changed. Type them out, copy and paste, however you do things. And then every day, multiple times a day, get out that list and say, okay, in the area of my family, you know, my children are taught of the Lord and great is their peace. Um, if I train up a child in the way that they should go, when they're old, they'll not depart from it. Maybe you want to see a change in your finances. Now I'm talking about to people that tithe and people that sow seed, find scriptures about prosperity. Wealth and riches shall be in my house. If I give, it's given unto me. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. I have all sufficiency and I abound to every good work. And you'll have to get those scriptures. You're changing the way you talk and you're changing the way you think. And if you can change the way you think, you won't be able to talk lack anymore. You won't be able to talk about the rebellion in your children. You'll see and you'll think and you'll meditate and you'll say what the Word of God says about your situation. Then you get to the place that you believe it in your heart, you confess it with your mouth, and you are going to have whatever you say. Remember, James chapter 3 says, if you can control your tongue, you can control your whole life. I hope next week.